In this tutorial, we will define ITV and describe how ITV differs from other teaching methods. ITV stands for Interactive Television and is a number of rooms that are connected to each other using video cameras and microphones. ITV classes allow students who cannot travel to the main campus to attend the class by visiting a distance campus location. Similar to traditional face-to-face -face classes, ITV classes also have an instructor and a classroom full of students. There are some important differences from traditional classroom teaching, however. All ITV rooms have ceiling-mounted microphones that transmit sound from one classroom to another. Traditionally, remote campuses mute their room microphones to keep the noise level down, but all classrooms can hear the instructor speaking. Because of the distances between the remote locations and the main campus, there is typically a time delay of about a second between one person speaking and another room hearing the speaker. All ITV rooms have wall-mounted cameras that can be used to view students and the instructor through TV monitors or projectors. Due to technical limitations, the instructor can only view one remote class at a time. The monitor at the back of the classroom will show the remote classroom that is currently speaking or that spoke last. In order to see another classroom, someone from the remote classroom must speak, which will switch the video to the room where the person is speaking. In short, the video follows the audio. Because of the distances with ITV, sending and receiving materials to and from remote classrooms in a timely manner can be time consuming. Testing and assignments can be accomplished electronically via Blackboard. If you do need to mail materials to remote classroom, please allow adequate time for them to arrive. Because an ITV class is spread out over a large geographical area, it is possible that a remote site is unable to participate in the class due to weather closing or technical problems. Because of this, you may want to consider preparing alternate assignments to give the missing students, or to arrange to have your ITV class recorded for viewing later. In this tutorial, we defined ITV and described how ITV differs from other teaching methods.